Cheat Man 2 was his own game anyway, but he, Greg Pravage, who runs Active Enterprises, he wanted to bring that game out to collectors. He wanted to put it in the hands of people who not necessarily wanted to play the game, but they wanted to keep it as a a relic to a pretty shitty past. I was just going to ask, what are your thoughts on Greg Pavich? Do you think he's deplorable for this, or do you think he's providing us with a good service? No. What is the difference between Greg Pavich and, say, Games for 81, who brings out homebrew games on retro consoles? There isn't any. You know, I don't find him deplorable in any way. I might find him a little bit fucking off with Rocker, because, <laughs> but other than that, Fucking good luck, that guy. If he wants to, if he can make a living on selling less than par games to people who want to collect him as you know for novelty value, if you will, <laughs> fucking good luck to him. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, there were a lot of bad, bad games on the Nintendo back then, and I've never played Cheetah Men Two. It's probably horrible, but uh, who cares? It's an icon now. You talk about yeah. Cheetah Men Two to a retro gamer, they know exactly who they are. Not necessarily because of its terribleness, but because of its rarity, I'd say. Well, the like story a, behind it. Yeah, the story, like we talked about in a, a previous podcast times ago about Active Enterprises, it's a story. It's a story revolving in Action 52 and the Cheating Men and all this old stuff. The story behind it is what's compelling. The game itself is terrible. I'm like the same with me when I talk about Night Trap, and I've had so many people say, oh, why do you like that piece of shit game? And yes, technically, it's not the best game in the world, but I love the history around it. That's what I love about retro gaming in general, and just gaming in general, when you get these sort of stories, that yes, these games are not popular for the right reasons, but they're popular because of the story around them. You know, it's not about the gameplay at all, it's about the people who put time into the game. 